Hello there, Aries. How are you doing? It's so good to see you again. I'm Aries Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today I am doing your April 2022 general tarot reading. So we'll take a look at the overall energies in um, in your life in general. So this could have to do with career, money, uh, romance, you know, any relationships. And then we'll take a look with the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonate with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. It really does help to get my message out to more people. Okay, so let's take a look. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. Yeah, um, you know, happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, we're stepping into this energy of, you know, starting a new year and believing in what it is that you are wanting to create for yourself in your life and believing that you can have it. You know, it's almost a sense of, you know, are you, are you thinking that your dreams are too big? Because there's this sense of, no, believe in yourself and you can have this come true for you. So let's move to the tarot and um, get a closer look at um, what's going on here. Because I feel like this is, um, it, I, I, I keep coming back to, you know, the acorns there. Almost like wanting to squirrel money away. Squirrel, uh, you know, building a nest egg or something like that. So I feel like it has maybe something to do with career or finances. It, uh, high priestess on the bottom. Listening to your intuition to help guide you in this direction. So let's see what we have for your present energy. Page of Swords. Getting some information or learning something new, um, gathering information. You know, like <laughs> the squirrel is gathering nuts there. Um, it's kind of like an, an energy of wanting to gather information. I feel like you're trying to make a big decision or a big change in your life in some way and trying to gain the information. You could even be going back to school or trying to get a certification, doing research. You know, this uh, situation, um, they're calling, they're showing me the dandelion that he's holding. Um, you know, this energy of wanting to send information out, like you're gathering information, but then wanting to send it out. You see the seeds there, you know, going out into the air. So you may be trying to do something. Okay, we have the double energy on the bottom. Could be Capricorn. Kind of, yeah, kind of um, attached to... Uh, a fear perhaps around competition or um, around, you know, trying to, trying to, I feel like you're trying to gather information about, um, uh, uh, honestly, I feel like it's about competition. So if it's a romantic connection that, you know, this could be uh, applied to, it's like trying to gather information about other, you know, competitors <laughs> in the romantic uh relationship or you know kind of this is a little bit of a spying card you could be kind of spying on your competitors in your business arena so you know um trying to gather information yeah a uh, wheel of fortune you're really wanting to turn the wheel i th i feel like you're wanting to do you know um you have a goal I just keep coming back to the acorns, trying to gather, trying to, I really feel like you're trying to build a nest egg of some sort. Okay, so let's go see what your um, area of resistance is. Magician, you're having a hard time manifesting this. You know, um... We're going to clarify this, but I almost feel as if there's an energy you may be a little bit stuck trying to do the research in something, right, but not actually taking action. So you could be spending a lot of time researching the competition or, you know, especially I feel like this is more business or money oriented, um, career oriented. Like you're doing a lot of research, but with the Page of Swords, there's not a lot of action. And magic doesn't happen until we take our knowledge, <laughs> our our interest, our what it is that we're wanting to um, bring into fruition. But we have to put action behind it, you know, um, 
it, you know, when we have great ideas, but we just sit on the couch and don't do anything about them, we can't manifest what it is that we're wanting. It's not like the universe says, oh, well, there's Aries sitting on the couch thinking about some ideas again. Let's just drop, you know, money. <laughs> Let's drop acorns in Aries' lap. Yeah, it's about actually, you know, with the Page of Cups, it's about taking it from the heart. I mean, from the head, your idea, adding it to your heart, okay? Getting excited about it. And then that's where magic happens. When we combine our head and our heart together, where they go, where they meet is where magic happens. Um, you also have the fool card here, but you have the moon card. Okay, so it's wanting to take a risk, go out on a new venture, starting a new business, going on a new career path, getting a different job. But there are fears, you know, about doing it. I feel like you're just really kind of stuck up in your head. It is kind of interesting because um, Sagittarius and Leo also had that energy of just kind of being stuck up in your head and not, um, not actually taking the action in order to bring something into fruition. So, oh my gosh. And then Page of Cups again is your advice. It's about putting a, bit, a little bit of love in this. You know, um, sh showing, <laughs> showing the love in this idea or this situation. You know, um, I'm going to come back. They're saying the competition again, whether this is a romantic relationship or career or money, you know, coming, it, be, fearing the competition, right? It's kind of like understanding there's enough love to go around. There's enough money to go around. There's a, a plenty of abundance. There is no limit to it. So it's kind of like, well, love your competition because that it's almost like a sense, well, that means there's a lot of people that want whatever it is that your idea is surrounded around, right? It's like putting the love into this situation, putting this love into yourself and believing in yourself will help you to manifest what it is that you want. And then you have the wheel of fortune again. You know, you, uh, seven of swords here. You are what is <laughs> sabotaging your own success because you're just kind of like stuck in the the thinking phase and it's time to start acting. So let's see what um, the outcome is here. The wheel of fortune, my goodness. <laughs> uh, I, I, that's three times that I remember the wheel showing up in your reading. Yeah, and then you can move forward, you know, with a lot of determination. It's about moving out of your head and then into your heart. And then there's the two of cups. You could be thinking about partner, partnering with somebody, whether this is a relation, you know, a romantic relationship, but it's also about, you know, growing something, you know, a business partner. You might be looking for a business partner or somebody else, um, you know, to work with in this situation. You know, sometimes to me, that also means like you find, um, you know, like a, a business coach or, 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 you know, somebody that can help you to build whatever it is that you build. It's working with somebody else that sees, um, that has, that is in alignment with your success, you know, wants you to be successful in this endeavor. So um, let's go to the clarifying these. So we're going to start with this page of swords here. Yeah. Okay. Four of cups on the bottom. It's kind of like you're, you're, uh, you're just discontented. You know, you have two fours here. You're kind of discontented, holding back your money, you know, the sense that, um, you know, this could be a new venture. Um, and you're just kind of holding back on the money, afraid to take the risk in this situation. So you're kind of being a little bit, it's the miser card, you know, um, not wanting to put the, invest the money in this because you're not sure it's going to work. Okay. Um, it's taking some strength. Yeah. It's taking strength in order to move towards your nine of cups. In order to, um, a lot of strength and courage to do this. I feel like you're really kind of caught up in your head about it. You know, you're having to um, really, uh, honestly, it's transforming your self-doubt about yourself. 
Um, it's transforming you from self-doubt into believing in yourself. This whole process, you're still kind of stuck up in your head. You have a great idea, <laughs> but you're still kind of like looking at the competition. You're trying to do all this research or or ever, however that means, you know, um, you know, you may be tr trying to ask a lot of people, what do they think? You know, and it's kind of like spirit is saying to you, why do you care about what everybody else thinks? It's time for you to get into this mentality of shifting from your head into your heart and saying, I love this idea. I'm going with it. Yeah, you may actually even have trouble with uh, finding people to invest if this is like where you're trying to um get an invest you know people to invest in your idea you may be having trouble finding people to invest in it but the reason is because they're not seeing that you love your idea you could be coming across a little bit like yeah i think this is a good idea what do you think how would you like to invest in it well nobody wants to invest in something unless you're like hey this is a great idea. Let me tell you why I love this idea, right? Um, it's almost like they they're they're looking for your for you to love the idea before they love the idea because it's your idea. Okay, so let's go to your object obstacle, the magician. Yeah, page of cups again, six of pentacles, eight of swords. It's the same thing over and over again. You know, feeling a little bit in that sense of lack. Um, lack of confidence, lack of money, lack of um, action, you know, you have the magician card here. This is your obstacle. You're trying to manifest something, but you can't bring it in because you're still stuck in this doubting of yourself. Um, and yet, look at this. When you add a little bit of love to this, what do you get? You get the universe bringing you in those little windfalls that you need in order to keep going on this path. You know, it's when um, it's the universe backing you up. When you put the time and effort into this, then the universe starts kicking you back. It's what, I mean, in a good way, <laughs> not in a bad way, um, kicking in, you know, some uh, pentacles your way. It's uh, the energy that you put into it is the energy you get out of it. And money is energy, you know. Um, so think of it that way. When you put love into this, you get love back. When you put fear into this, you get fear back. So it's all about what you're putting into it is what you are also going to get out of this. Um, oh, nice. And, you know, for some of you, if this is a relationship, it's like what you put into the relationship is what you're going to get out of the relationship. So let's see what we have. King of Cups, Knight of Wands, the Sun. I love this. Queen of Swords, seeing the clarity about how when you step into, you know, really embracing your emotions, getting into your heart space, putting the love into this situation and taking action because the Knight of Wands is action. When you get out of your head and you get into your heart and start taking action on this, oh my gosh, <laughs> the sun shines for you. The abundance comes pouring in. You know, this is love, money, you know, um, joy, happiness. It's everything that you ever wanted comes in when you get out of your head and into your heart. Wow, really nice. Okay, so let's see what the Wheel of Fortune has here. And Aries, I do do um, personal reading. So if this is resonating with you um, and you'd like to have a more personal approach about how this is fitting into your situation, the link is in the description box below. Okay, let's see. Ace of Swords, finding that truth. Finding the truth um, about understanding that sometimes disappointments happen in our life, but when things are taken away from us, okay, when things end, it has a blessings. The universe does that. So something better can come in for you. You're understanding that truth. You know, you're getting victory over this. If I focus on what I really want instead of focusing on my fears um, and I work with spirit, right? And I put the time and the energy and the love into this and taking action, <laughs> I can have the wheel turn for me. Really lovely energy. 
Wow, Aries. Well, I'd love to hear in the comments below. How is this resonating with you? Like, what is it that you are trying to bring into fruition in your life? So let's see what we have. What passion am I ready to pursue? Yeah, see, I think you have an idea. You have a good idea. It's just you're, you're sitting on the idea. <laughs> your passions will continuously lead you to your purpose. What passions have you put, on, uh, put to the side, given up on, or buried? What passion is ready to come alive in you? Today's soul action. Write a list of the passions to which you want to give life right now. The journal how you can incorporate more of what you are passionate about into your daily, uh, daily life. Trust your soul's whispering. Yeah, and you know, that kind of comes back to this too about, you know, what is it that you're really passionate about? Getting really in touch with what is, you know, uh, when we talk about passionate, it's about, you know, when, where, where is your bliss? You know, where do you, you know, you're, you're working on something and time just seems to fly, right? Uh, it's um, this energy of you just connecting with something, you know, sometimes that's in, you know, painting or writing or, you know, whatever it is that you're creating or wanting to create, or it, or in a relationship when you're with that certain someone right time just seems to fly it's kind of like wow you know i can't believe we've been talking for 3 hours you know um and then it's about incorporating more of that person or thing or a hobby or action into your life because it'll help you to find your soul purpose how can this be a wonderful win, win, win? And you know, it is kind of interesting because it's like the three wins. It's a win for you. It's a win for the universe. It's a win for the people in your life. You know, it's a win all around. Um, when you step into that energy of looking at what it is that you want to create out of love instead of fearing um, oh, I can't bring that into fruition or there's too much competition or whatever. When you shift your perspective, then all of a sudden you get the ding, ding, ding. <laughs> you win. You win. The universe wins. Um, everybody wins. So anyway, well, Aries, I am going to leave it there. I do wish you so much love and light in this situation, in all your situations. If you did resonate, please consider liking or subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye.